Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this particular lecture, we will learn one another very important theorem on Laplace transformation. So this particular theorem sometimes called multiplication by power of t. Now why it is called so? Because you see, we know that Laplace transformation of f of t is what? f of s. But here you see with f of t, uh, f of t there is another term t to the power n. So that's why it is called multiplication by what? Power of t. This n can be any natural number. It may be 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. Now look at the right hand side. It's very interesting. If the power is n, then the right hand side is minus 1 to the power n, d to the power n by ds to the power n. Then f of s. What is f of s? It is the Laplace transformation of f of t. Okay, so let us prove it. Mm. We know that Laplace transformation of f of t is f of s. Mm. And f of s, what you can write? 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt okay now we'll uh, differentiate this so d by ds d, we are differentiating with respect to s so it's d by ds 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt okay now in the very first lecture we see that s and t they are independent of each other so there is no connection between s and t so we can write like this also 0 to infinity this d by ds we can write del del s e to the power minus st f of t what dt now why del because since they are independent the total differentiation and partial differentiation is almost same and this this is also called uh, integration under uh, differentiation under integration side now let us differentiate it since we are differentiating with respect to s so t will be a constant here 0 to infinity so it will be our minus t e to the power minus st f of t and then dt so let us take this my minus sign in the left hand side so it will be minus d by ds f of s and this will be our 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and then let us write this t with f of t, t f of t dt. Okay. So this one, what we can write, mm. this is nothing but our Laplace transformation of t f of t. Okay. So what we see here, therefore, Laplace transformation of t f of t is equals to this minus, no, this minus we can write minus 1 to the power 1 d by ds and then what? f of x so this is when you this this one we get when we differentiate once now similarly if we uh, multiply one more t that means now it will become t square f of t then what will be the right hand side this will be minus 1 to the power this one will become 2 then double differentiation will come d square by ds square and then what f of s okay so in the same way if we multiply uh, t n times so that means t, if we get t to the power n f of t then this will be how much minus 1 to the power n d to the power n by d s to the power n what f of s so it's a very simple and inter interesting proof okay so using this particular result so we'll do some problems now see here uh, it's t, t to the power 2 so n is how much n is 2 here and this is our f of t so first let us find the Laplace transformation of cos at t, which you all know, Laplace transformation of cos at is what? S divided by S square plus A square. And let it be F of S. Now, for this particular problem, since T is 2, uh, since T is 2, so what we'll write? Let it be F of T first. So, according to the theorem it's minus 1 to the power 2 d to the power 2 by ds to the power 2 and then what f of s so in this particular problem our f of t is what cos a t minus 1 to the power 2 is plus then d by d square by ds square and then f of s so f of s you already get here is s divided by how much s square plus a square now what we'll do we'll differentiate it twice so let be dds so if we differentiate it once this is of the form u by v right so it's v into 
differentiation of s is 1 minus s into differentiation of s square plus s square is twice s and divided by v square. Okay, so it's a d by ds. So if we calculate it, what we will get? We will get a square minus s square divided by s square plus a square whole square. Now I have to differentiate it once again. So again the same way uv formula. So d square plus a square whole square. If we differentiate this, we'll get minus twice s, then minus. Now a square minus s square will be same. If we differentiate this v, we'll get 2 into s square plus a square, and then again, it's how much? Twice s. Whole thing divided by v square. So already our v is a square plus a square whole square. Now it will become 4. Now we can cancel one a square plus a square from numerator and denominator. So what we'll get then? Twice s. Here we'll have s square plus a square. Then 2 into twice s is 4s. And if we, uh, okay, let us keep this as minus a square minus s square divided by, it will be now a square plus s square whole cube because one term is cancelled out. So finally what we'll get? Uh, here we'll get minus 2s cube. Okay, let us take minus twice as common. So from here we will get a square plus a square. And from here after taking minus twice as common, it will be plus 2a square. Then what? Uh, minus 2a square. Okay, is it all right? Let me check once again. Minus sign we have taken common. Okay. It's right now. Then... Uh, divided by how much? s square plus a square whole cube. So it's minus twice s, then uh, what we'll get? We'll get s square plus 3 a square, right? Yes, s square plus 3 a square, divided by s square plus a square whole cube. So in the same way, you can do this problem, first one, in place of cos, here we have taken sin 80. So in the same procedure we try and you will get this particular answer. Now example 3, I have raised the power to 3. Now here n equals to what? 3. And the f of t is something else which is e to the power minus 18. But we know the Laplace transformation of e to the power minus 80. It is 1 divided by s plus a. So now if we find the transformation. And since the power is t, it will be minus 1 to the power 3 d cube by what? d s cube and then f of s. Our f of s is 1 by how much? s plus a. So we have to differentiate thrice here. So minus 1 to the power 3. So minus will be there. d square by d s square. So we'll differ we are going to differentiate this term once. So it will be minus 1 by s plus a whole square. Minus minus plus. Let us differentiate it once again. So now it will be minus 2 divided by s plus a whole cube. Okay. So let us keep minus 2 outside. So finally, when you differentiate it once again, so it will be minus 3 divided by s plus a whole to the power 4. So we will get 6 divided by s plus a whole to the power 4. Okay. So this is the answer. The problems are very simple. Okay. Just you, you have to you have to practice a little bit. So then uh, and uh, try to do some more examples from any book. So I hope this particular lecture helps you. So thank you for watching today's video. Now if you found this lecture helpful, then kindly share and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so that you can get the uh, updates of all the upcoming lectures. So thank you once again for watching.